Guys. Anyway, moving into the next game, we are now in the drafting phase. This is Deadpan Gaming versus Divergence. Coach, take it away. Okay, so right now we have the standard ban, Lycan from Deadpan Gaming. Uh, Divergence might go a bit specific right now. They banned, yeah, they banned the Brewmaster. Brewmaster was just such a pain in the ass to deal with, and it's actually a common first round ban right now. One of the more powerful heroes in this meta, Brewmaster. Um, Along with Lycan, Doom, uh, Death Prophet, Shadow Shaman, those are really the hot heroes right now. And Faceless Void is just the most popular Five carry right seconds. now. So yeah, they, Deadpan Gaming bans of the Viper. They had a lot of success with the Viper earlier on, but uh, they'd want to ban that right now. Maybe because uh, I'm not sure. Maybe they just don't want to go up against the Viper. But they have first pick right now. Yeah, Divergence bans out uh, Faceless Void. So. Deadpan Gaming without hesitation at all picks up Doom. Yeah, they want that. <laughs> they want the Doom. Doom is very very good hero right now. Uh, he might be facing some nerfs in the next patch. He can farm independently with his Devour. He's very tanky. He also is able to escape because he has a heal and a movement speed increase with his second ability, which is the Scorched Earth. Yeah, and the Doom is the Ten best single target lockdown in the game. It basically turns you into a creep, disables your passives, Five, disables seven. your abilities, and Double on top shot. of that, you can't even use your items. Earth. So it's just a total lockdown. Divergence, however, pick up a good combo in Shadow Shaman and Earthshaker. They have... Very, very powerful early to mid game potential. They can have long range initiation and lockdown. But again, Divergence is a very aggressive team a while ago. They went for two smokes earlier on, but they weren't able to find any kills. And that inability to find kills, you're wasting time inside your lane. You're not able to get EXP. And that's Ten. that kind of waste is the kind of waste that loses you your game. You Five. don't get your level sixes early and that's just not going to uh, pay off properly so they they should have learned their lesson by now uh, they want that level 6 and the blink on the earth shaker they want that level 6 on the shadow shaman as well so maybe they'll play it better this time and deadpan gaming they're going for their counter pick right now uh, or maybe just another core to strengthen their lineup they they might go for something like a death prophet or they can go for supports that they're comfortable with Right now, they still have four picks available, so you know it's Sky not necessary Rath that you pick uh, according to the meta. But they pick up Skyrath Mage, a, a good meta hero. He's a very good combo with the Earth Shaker, but against the Earth Shaker, I'm not really sure. The Earth Shaker is good against the Skyrath Mage because the Skyrath Mage doesn't have a stun. He has the Ancient Seal, but the Earth Shaker should have a longer range than the ancient seal and if the year shaker is behind fog uh he can get the jump on the skyrath mage before the skyrath mage can actually do anything but now uh death prophet and tide hunter are banned yeah tide hunter is really hard to deal with right now especially if you have something like skyrath mage it's quite kind of a long range stun in the ravage and then you combo that with the mystic flare of the skyrath mage that's going to uh wreak havoc on your team Death Prophet is banned, of course. No one wants a Shadow Shaman Death Prophet combo. If you let the enemy team have the Shadow Shaman and let them have the Death Prophet, also, you deserve to lose. You're going to lose and you deserve it <laughs> for letting that combo slip. So, right now, Dead Pan Gaming's banned. They. Might ban. Oh, they banned Weaver. They also banned Weaver a while ago, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think they want to deal with a Weaver. And. Divergence Band Tinker, yeah. Uh, they probably found the Tinker hard to deal with in the earlier game. Uh, actually, I don't think they needed to ban the Tinker. The Tinker wasn't winning his lane against the Windrunner. It's, that that it's just that the Tinker didn't really have much of a good pick. Uh, the Wind Ranger, yeah, wasn't very effective. So it was kind of a waste. The Tinker didn't really win. But the Wind Ranger wasn't really useful, so I don't think they needed to ban that out. Divergence is going to pick right now. Um, they might go for a core. They should go for a core right now. Something that is able to take things down even if the Shadow Shaman and Earthshaker pale. Something that will uh, give them a mid-game or late-game advantage, probably. So, uh, Faceless Void is out. And... 
Lycan is out. So who do they have right now? They might go for a life stealer. Life stealer is good against Skyrath Mage, but uh, not particularly against Doom, and that's why Doom is very, very potent as a first pick. There's no one really that you can pick that's good against Doom uh, on his own. The Doom is just going to shut anyone down. But uh, you pick the heroes that give a lot of impact, like perhaps combo with an Earthshaker, uh, an Enigma. Now the Doom is left to choose. Should he? Doom the Earthshaker or Doom the Enigma. If you give the enemy a situation that they have that kind of dilemma, then the effects of Doom is kind of negated. But if you pick a single hero that you're going to fall back on, the Doom is just going to shut that down. And they pick Nature's Prophet. Uh, they might go full rat on this. Nature's Prophet is also a good pusher in his own right. Uh, and also good late game. He can really be annoying when you're dragging out team fights and the Nature's Prophet is pushing out somewhere else. So there's that. And Nature's Prophet is also a good ganker earlier on. He has presence in practically three lanes once he gets his level three up uh, with a teleport and a level in those trees, the sprout. But we'll have to see how their Nature's Prophet is played. They might. They're not gonna jungle the Nature's Prophet. Nature's Prophet is really an offlaner hero. He wants those EXP levels up and he can practically relocate to any lane that he's needed. Deadband Gaming right now uh, picks up Ogre Magi. So Ogre Magi, Skyrath Mage, this is going to be a ganking team. And Lifestealer, as I've said a while ago, Lifestealer is good against Skyrath Mage but not particularly against Doom because you can still Doom through the Lifestealer Rage. The magic immunity doesn't help at all against the Doom. Uh, but yeah, you're going to have to give Doom a dilemma. If you Doom the Life Stealer, then that leaves the Earthshaker and Shadow Shaman to lay their spells down during a team engagement. So it's those kinds of things that make uh, team composition very important. It's not just one hero against another. Sometimes it's how you compose your team that counters a hero. And Deadpan Gaming pick Razor. Razor is a good mid, very popular mid right now. Also a very good tri laner. Perhaps a Skyrath Mage, Ogre Magi, Razor tri lane. We've seen before the devastating effects of a Skyrath Mage, Earthshaker, and Razor. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure which team it was, but yeah, it was put into very great effect. I think if the Skyrath Mage gets his initiation out with a concussive shot, the concussive shot is long range anyway, the Ogre Magi might be able to catch up and cast his spells and so the Razor. The Razor Plasma Field is actually very potent, very big damage coming in. So Skyrath Mage, Ogre Magi, and Razor might just be just an effective of a tri lane as with an Earthshaker uh, substitute instead of the Ogre Magi. But Dead Band Gaming, they lose Templar Assassin. Uh, mm, Templar Assassin is a mid hero typically, but Dead Band Gaming don't really need a mid hero right now. They can swap out Razor if they don't want to go for a tri lane. But uh, Dead Band Gaming wisely ban out Puck. Puck is a mid hero, and Divergence, uh, of all things, they need a mid hero right now. So it's mid hero versus mid hero. Uh, Dead Band Gaming might opt for a, a better tri laner than Razor, something, someone with a nuke and a slow. Uh, if they want Razor to go mid or they might pick some hard uh, damage dealing go. carry something like Shadow Fiend just to annoy the hell out of Lifestealer you know Lifestealer might have some magic resistance magic immunity but nothing against Reserve heavy right clicks that's, maybe that's why they banned out Templar Assassin actually Templar Assassin deals massive amounts of armor reduction and burst damage physical Meepo. burst damage oh no Divergence picks Meepo this is a very interesting pick Meepo is a very niche pick uh, Meepo is not generally in any meta you have to be good at Meepo and you have to have a, a player that's really really good at Meepo to make Meepo effective otherwise he's just going to feed so if you have a Meepo that changes the story entirely it it can turn the tide either way just by having the Meepo right there a little bit of unpredictability with that Meepo pick and Deadpan Gaming uh, they're probably going to take a mid pickup right now uh, someone with damage uh, damage dealing mid hero, maybe Odie, but Odie's orb doesn't go through life stealer, 
So, Queen, Queen of Pain. Of okay, Queen so of that, Pain. That that's going to be wow. a rare mid hero, <laughs> but uh, I think Queen of Pain is going to have difficulty later on dealing with the Earth Shaker, and maybe the Shadow Shaman. But if the Queen of Pain is just there to outlane someone, Queen of Pain is a very good mid laner because of her nice attack animation and her ability to blink out of tough situations and harass people with her shadow strike what what skill was it uh is it still yeah it's still called shadow strike back in my day shadow strike was present in three heroes it was the queen of pain the viper and the mortred uh, the phantom assassin they all had the same shadow strike ability but now only uh queen of pain has shadow strike do you still remember those days ali yeah, actually, there was, a, there was a time in Dota, once upon a time, there was a time where, oh, sorry, that was redundant, but a lot of heroes had the same skills. Like, um, if the Venomancer had that, or was it Mortred? Yeah, both of them. Yeah, Mortred. Mortred and Venomancer, they both had a Shadow yeah, Strike, yeah. along with yeah, the but, Queen of Pain. But Venomancer, Venomancer Shadow Strike was a bit different. It was like an AoE thing. No, no, no. That's the Venomous oh, Gale. It was re the oh. Venomous Gale was the remake. Oh, okay. And the Phantom Assassin Shadow Strike turned into that uh, dagger thingy. Well, there you go. I wouldn't know because I'm not that old, but oh, the coach oh, has oh, been since oh. the ancient times. Shot, shots anyway, fired. Shots fired. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm, be, I'm be going ahead oh. and introducing the teams. So, yeah. We have Reality playing the Shadow Shaman, Kuhaku on the Meepo. Uh, by the way, coach, as I go through the players, kindly, kindly click yeah, on them. Yeah, yeah. I'll just I, go I through them one screen. by one. I can see your screen. Okay. Oh, you can. Oh, wow. Yeah. Anyway, you can also see my screen. It's go, go. It's the yellow thingy on the mini map. It's oh, the yellow. It is, it is. So my screen Indeed. should be yellow to you. Okay. Yep. So reality on the shadow shaman here in the middle lane. I think it's just going to check out the wards while we have Kohaku. Is it a meeple mid? Hmm. Curious. Now we have. Second star to the right. Oh, he's here. So apparently, second star to the right is actually one of the players. He's now back. He's now. Um, I, I think he's he's replacing somebody from the last game. I forgot who. I'll be going ahead and checking out. And we have Crystal playing as the life leader at the bottom lane, and now Kite with that Earth Shaker. Oh, they actually took took the Earth Shaker from DG. Meanwhile, we have for DJ of Z on the Razor, Alpha Chupapi on the Skyrath Mage, Boss T on the Queen of Pain, MF Doom, is who usually plays as a carry now. It's on Doombringer, Pow Pow, always the support, always the loving support, the selfless one playing as the Ogre Magi. All right, so please, coach, go ahead with the laning phase while I check out who the second start to the right replaced. Okay, so um, right now the most important thing is uh this doombringer is going to win it's doom playing doom this is double doom doom squared this is going to be absolutely devastating so yeah you can't stop the double doom anyway um this is going to be a solo lane versus solo lane i would say that this is going to be an advantage for the doom because the doom has that devour he has that ability to take in more gold beyond the last hits that uh, is given by the creeps uh, but the life stealer can potentially harass the doom. The feast is actually physical passive. Yeah, it's a. F it, it doesn't say here, but I, 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 as far as I know, it's a physical passive. And doom starts out with zero armor. The zero armor is significant because it, it, basically having zero armor means your opponent practically deals pure damage to you, especially if uh, the damage is a percentage, like feast. You can easily get harassed if you're not careful with your positioning and mm -hmm. you let those feasts kick in. I think, yeah, this is a smoke gang coming in. Dive likes their level 1 smoke ganks, but are they going to connect? Are they going to find this Doom? The Doom is hesitant. He feels something is wrong. Yeah, it's actually, well, now Kite, they're, Kite and uh, Shadow Shaman here, played by Reality, they're just playing so they're just trying to play safe um i think they're trying to play, basically waiting there but i think the shadow shaman is torn between getting the getting the kill and pulling the camps and i think they disengaged and that's a wasted smoke if you ask me and they even failed to successfully pull the creeps so yeah, there you so, go so it's a repeat of the same game of what they were doing a while ago shadow shaman should be uh you should just put him in la the lane if if you're not going to find any kills just put him in the lane uh, wait until he gets six. Hopefully that will be before ten minutes, maybe eight minutes. 
if he's just sitting in the lane doing nothing but sharing experience in a dual lane and that should be good enough get your level six take down towers go as a team take down towers and you fulfilled your objective you pick shadow shaman and you're making use of that shadow shaman especially since the shadow shaman was their first pick i think yeah mm -hmm. you don't per first pick a shadow shaman if you're not going to use it <laughs> properly yeah you first pick uh, a shadow shaman you you play shadow shaman you do the shadow shaman thing you, you don't play him as what a ganking support who has low impact see right now mm -hmm. it's been two and a half minutes in that's already four creep waves and he's still at level one exp let's check the level right now yeah um four heroes at level one actually all the supports skyrath mage or shaker and oh something's happening oh something at the top second start to right is trying to escape here will he be oh. able to he oh, actually tbs oh no. oh no this is fails of the week happening right here he tbs right a few you uh, like around 200 units in front of him this is dota cinema quality fails right there he panicked Second star to the right, crunched under the pressure, and he lost. He gives the first blood to Dan Pan Gaming. I have no words. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, they got the courier kill on the oh, on the they dire. got the courier. Yeah, they got the courier oh, kill. Oh, okay. I think they were trying to get did, the courier kill then. Yeah. Did you see the pop up? It actually showed yeah, yeah. that it was a 650 gold worth of items inside the courier so that actually might have been an advantage for deadpan gaming because the mm. gold gives uh the courier kill gives gold to everyone in the team How and much? Uh, i think it's 150 so that's practically Whoa. a tower yeah that's practically a tower for all members in the team not necessarily the ones who killed it and that's delaying whatever items that were on the way for a minute and a half or two minutes and a half was it yeah but it's delayed. That was the Queen of Pain bottle, I think. It's 650 gold. Yeah, that should be the mm -hmm. Queen of Pain bottle. And that might just be enough to give the Amiibo an advantage over the Queen of Pain. But uh, if we check right now, the Queen of Pain is 6 and the Amiibo is still at level 4. So, yeah, the Amiibo might need just a bit more to uh, make something out of that. Okay, see the team Queen of Pain actually getting earthbound. Oh, team, the poof coming in from Kohaku. Wonderful play right there. Did you see that, coach? They were actually able to lock down the Queen of Pain. Yeah, I was At the not. bottom lane, we see Life Steer throwing the auto attacks in on this little Fisher coming in from Kite. Missing that stun. TP coming in from Precious Prophet. He throws the Sprout to MF Doom. Has the Quelling Blade. No, he has actually the Tango. He bites it. Second start to the right is going to be the last the last star alive i don't know how to describe it it's almost nice but he was able to survive there he was able to survive the that's coming from the tower and mf doom lucky 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 bastard right here smoke of the seed coming in from the from that pan gaming they're going to the mid they're not gonna find anybody there but the question is how long will they be able to wait the dar is responding and indeed coach it is it is boss t's um bottle who was delayed and now they're just attacking, they're just hacking away at this tower. This tower might actually go down and finally, you might see a Shadow Shaman being ha uh, having the presence for the push. MF Doom getting stunned, getting slowed, getting auto attacked by everyone. MF Doom is, will be able to escape. He has the Scorch Earth up, giving additional moves with him. In the middle lane, we see boss TPT, a lot of people converging and TPing and TP cancelled from somebody somewhere. I think it was, perhaps it was Kai, uh yeah, now Queen of Pain is the warding here. And, well, oh, Shadow Shaman getting stunned, getting disabled, Compassion of Cutting In. Boss T was X, but not enough to kill him. Meeple throws the Earthbind. And the Ward Wars has begun, coach. The Ward Wars have begun. And it looks like Dead Pan Gaming won that particular war ramp ward. Yeah, so let, let's check the last hits a bit. Again, Dead Pan Gaming is on the lead, but. Meepo, this Meepo, in mid lane. He, he, oh, he poofed out. He managed to escape. He almost died right there in the mid lane. Oh, okay. So, uh, again, last top last hits go to Razor and Queen of Pain for Deadpan Gaming, followed by the Lifestealer Team Dive. They, they might just have a bit of hope in that Lifestealer. And maybe Meepo. The Meepo only has five last hits right now, but he might be able to pick up 
somewhere in the middle game once he has more clones in and he's making the best out of that jungle but we'll see what happens razor is still given pretty much uncontested farm here on top the razor has oh in the middle lane actually. yeah middle lane boston is actually locking the locking the queen of pain down the Ripper coming in. They're throwing the auto attacks. Oh, the last poof of the last Meepo is wonderful. But will the Meepo die? Wonderful deny there from Meepo. And I did not feel that when you die a when you deny a clone, only the clone dies. What the fuck? No, that he, is amazing. He denied the Shadow Shaman. What's the Shadow Shaman? Oh, it was a Shadow Shaman. Oh, I am just so I was lost in the action. Anyway, time to upgrade your Midgard. Time to upgrade my eyes. Pow, pow, <laughs> And Chupapi finding the finding Kite and second start to the right here. He gets a silence and stun coming in from Pao Pao. Will they be able to take Kite? Yes, the Ignite was used and just throwing the DPS in. Nature's Prophet, they wonderful block down. there. <laughs> wonderful block there from Nature's Prophet. Oh, Pao Pao, you're not going to be able to get away. Hex coming in from reality. You are going to get hexed, son. They they are just showing you how the what the moves are. The Marcus coming. Kuhaku is now ready. He, he sees Bosti. He can lock him down. Earthbind coming in. The poofs will come in next. Followed by another Earthbind. Bosti, what are you doing? You just used your blink. No, the blink is still cool down. You'll be able to escape. What the hell, coach? This is just one one of the most intense matches we've ever seen. And the Meepo is playing so beautifully. Yeah, I, I think Dive has just stepped up their game right now. Especially with that beautiful creep block against the Ogre Magi. I, I really love that. Lifestealer going to disengage right now. The Doom still has the Doom. There we go. There's the Doom. But oh, Doom actually, Oscillator is now dropping the H, dropping on the HP department. And he will actually lose for all the auto, auto attacks coming in. The Fire Blast is even still up. The Ignite is up. They can actually just kill him. Come on, other blink from Bosti. No, the Doom was actually buffed. Meanwhile, Meepo is being aggressive, play aggressive here, just stay standing behind the tower and they might actually take the push. And well, well a lot of things are happening. Ooh, ooh, now, stun coming in from Kite, he won't be able to lock down Z, but yeah, I think that's enough for the harassment. I mean, we're just talking about two supports here trying to lock, lock down that Razor, while the Meepo is having a blast against the Queen of Pain. I cannot say how much how much I enjoy watching a Meepo with, um, with a mobility skill like play because it's just it means it, it, if you own that person you have it means that you know how to manage your earthbind you know how to get them in meanwhile it's up in reality is like because you're coming in from chupapi wonderful stun block there from earthshaker and now reality will be able to blink to tp out wow z will not be able to find reality there this is just kind of, i don't know what but we're seeing a completely different team divergence right now it's a completely different team yeah, they're, they're playing much more tighter right now. Much oh no, more. Kuhaku is getting getting disabled, getting Shadow Strike, getting ganked upon, but he'll be able, he will be able to poof out to another clone. Yeah, again, it's really tight now. Z is actually There's dying. Oh, hang on. It seems that King of Pain actually accidentally disconnected from the game, and now MF Doom is going to find. Uh, sorry, MF Doom was actually disconnected. No, no, While it's everything was happening at the top lane, it's Bosti. No, MF. Oh, yeah, sorry, it's Bosti. This is, racer, why is MF Doom? This racer is Shit. dead, I think. Yeah, I mean, you have three heroes behind you. No, no, no. Wait, still. no. He might be able to escape. No, he has Sprout. Sprout is up, but. Yeah, I, asked, I was about to say that, but. but Skyrath Mage has a Tango. Oh. If, if Skyrath Mage waits up and takes the Tango for the Razor. And Razor yeah. uses his face boots. He might just be able to go out because the two heroes but, are melee. But let, let's yeah, see, let's but see, let's then, see. Here he goes. Yes, he cool. He has actually a lot of items on top of him, and yeah, he will actually die. Uh, he won't be able to pass the Tangle push because Razor has full has all the slots taken. No, I, I meant the Skyrath Mage. The Skyrath Mage oh, could yeah. have used the Tangle himself, but yeah, he was go he he. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they yeah, didn't yeah. really need the sprout. <laughs> they didn't. They didn't need the sprout. I think the yeah, yeah. razor was still affected by the life stealer slow. But that was a very, very good infest bomb. The life stealer infest combo with the nature's prophet teleport just, you know, being an unexpected surprise worth of damage. Here we go. Kino pain. Kino pain getting. Actually, is getting shackled right there. Life stealer 
is up and running. Yes, you actually used to raise Razor Fire Skill Shadow Shaman with a Flash of Field. Static Lake on top of Oscillator getting doomed as well. This Life Stealer is dead. Nature's Prophet, you better get out of there. But no, Boss T will, not ha will have none of that and finishes the kill. Double kill coming in from Z. That's 3 4 nil in favor of the Deadpan Gaming team. And Meepo is just quietly and silently farming up his. What is he farming? I think it's an Agony Ganyps, Scepter. Yeah. yeah. And wow, coach, again. Teams, if you're watching this, if you're watching the replay, do not let your Shadow Shaman fall behind the levels. You are now with the Shadow Shaman on a level 5. It's yeah. still level 5. It's 11 minutes in and we're still looking at level 5. The Shadow Shaman has died 3 times already. So that's a lot of gold and a lot of experience lost for Shadow Shaman. You know, you really want that level 6. If, if you can't get that level 6, if you can't commit to getting a level 6 on your Shadow Shaman earlier on, don't pick the Shadow Shaman. It, it's really a waste. Pick a Lion, pick a Nyx Assassin, don't get the Shadow Shaman. You know, if, if, if that's not what you want. If you want someone who uh, goes roaming and disables people and kills people, a Lion might be a better choice. Uh, even a bounty hunter might be a better choice than the Shadow Shaman. You want the Shadow Shaman for the level 6, and if you're not going to go for that level 6, pick something else. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. True enough. Whew! I, I need to catch my breath, Coach. This is one intense game. This is one heck of a game, I have to tell you that. Yeah, it's kind of a back and forth, and the Meepo actually, if we check the last hits graph, he has... 49 last hits, which is second in the game, only behind Razor. The Razor is well farmed right now. He has his mech, he has face boots, uh, so he should be quite content with that. He doesn't really need his Aganims until later on. Oh, you see a smoke gang coming in from the desire. They will be able to see the people. Fire Blast on the wrong clone, guys. But however, it doesn't matter. Both clones are dead, are, are low in energy. Fisher coming in from Kite, but he is Shadow Strike. Blade coming in from Bossy. They want to get this kill. Concussor shot. On top of that, oh, I think it was an arcane bolt on top of that the air shaker. Shackles coming for reality. Oh, no shackles for you, naughty little boy. You get Mystic Flare right in front of your face. And now that's a three hero dead. Three hero kill for Dead Pan Gaming. And I think I think finally Dead Pan Gaming is coming online. I mean, the early game advantage was sure. It was a well played Meepo. It's a very tight dive. It was a very different divergence team for, uh, from earlier, but. Now that Doom is online and he has the Midas, he can actually go around with that Doom ultimate. Uh, I think they um, they are now showing uh, their mid game advantage. That's actually a pretty greedy build on Doom, but if we like look at the net worth, he's right there on top, five thousand six hundred gold right now. Meepo is five thousand, still commendable, still respectable, but a bit behind the Doom and the Razor. So let's check the EXP. The EXP is. 4,000 in favor of Team Deadpan. Uh, mm -hmm. That's that's okay. It's it's not as bad as the previous game. Still recoverable. And difference in gold is only 1-5. Very little difference. Very meaningless difference. Especially since almost everyone has their level 6s now. The Shadow Shaman is the only hero right now at level 5. Wait. Oh, smoke coming in. Oh, I think they, they wanted the smoke at the bottom lane. But they can't really get revealed a little bit because the, the Queen of Pain was walking, was casually walking to get the room. And so some of the smoke were revealed. We only have what? Shadow Shaman on the smoke. And they are now in red the bottom lane. They want to they wanna go for the wraparound. Uh, however, Boss T is in the, he is in the, he can actually see the positions. He sees the Shadow Shaman, he sees the Life Stealer, and now he sees even Earthshaker. He can actually throw the, the Scream of Pain right behind their Fisher coming in from Dark, from Kite. And they know that Kite doesn't have the stun. Bossy comes in, finds the finds the scream on top of that Meepo clone, and the Earthshaker, Earthshaker falls. Wow! And wow, everything was happening. Seems like going for the they going for Rat Dora. This is Alliance Gaming coming in from Dial, and they're pushing the top lane. This top lane, if not if it's not going to be defended, this is going to fall. TP coming in from D, from Z. He finds the he finds the Nature's Prophet. He's actually going to chase for it while his teammates are going to push the bottom lane. Scarlet Mage is just lost. And he's like looking for rules. I know. I think he what he rewarded. So there's only three heroes for the Dead Band Gaming right here. And if I was Team Dive, I know that Razor is up top. It's kind of made was too busy rewarding. I would have actually gone on top of that um, on top of Team DG before they pushed. Yeah, you, you know that there's only three of them right there. 
So you you could have taken that opportunity to take a team fight with a hero advantage. But well, maybe they were afraid of the capability of the Doom. The Doom has his cooldown off. Yeah, and the Queen of Pain, no no scream, but the Queen of Pain still has that damage potential from her auto attacks and that scream of pain burst. All right now they're going for a smoke gap. Okay, they're going for a smoke gap at the bottom lane. They're trying to find somebody. But from the, uh, I think they just captured, they just passed by the dire job, the radiant tongue jungle. And now the dire team is pushing the middle lane. They're trying to go for attack. Bossy gets trapped with that Fisher oh, Silence coming in on top of the Lifestealer, getting Mystic Flare right there. He will die. He throws in the Rage. Doom coming in from the Doombringer, finds the Shadow Shaman. No wards for you, Shadow Shaman. Oh, wait, you're still level five. What the hell? More the uh, armlet of Mordigian coming in from. I think getting toggled by Oscillator just to survive all those spams. And this Shadow Shaman will die. No. No. He lives with 13 HP. Wow. It's a good thing he didn't actually auto attack that. Because if I was that Meepo, I would have actually auto attacked. I mean, I would have actually attacked my teammate. I am so excited to get the denies in. Anyway, fortification from Radiant Team. They don't want this to get pushed. Not unless I think the Shadow Shaman gets his ultimate. He is like, what, 150 experience away. From the ultimate, they keep hacking away at the middle tower. Fisher coming in, finds a stun on boss team, but no, not going to be enough. They want to stun a lot, as much people as possible just to discourage the enemy team from pushing, but the tier 2 tower goes down. And I believe that they will choose to just disengage from this. Blink Dagger up on Doom, and this is going to give him more mobility and more initiate capabilities. Yeah, does the Shadow Shaman... The Shadow Shaman is still level 5. Again, this is the repeat of a while ago. Level 5 Shadow Shaman, 18 minutes in. 17 and a half going to 18 minutes and he's still not going to get his level 6. This is really what shouldn't, what shouldn't be happening with the Shadow Shaman. If you're not going to get that level 6, you might as well pick a Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter does well with level 2. Just the Invis and the Shuriken Toss, that's enough. Level 3, you get the Invis, the Shuriken Toss, and the Janala. So, you know, if, if you're going for that kind of hero, I uh, don't pick the Shadow Shaman. Yeah, and uh, wow. <sighs> I am just, I am just so tired. It's an action packed game, Coach. Please just fill in the game with analysis. I mean, I'm pretty sure that the viewers want to know why is this happening? Why is that band gaming dominating? I mean, I'm sure you've mentioned some of those already during the previous game, but some of the viewers might actually have been just might have been tuning just now. So please educate them and raise awareness. <laughs> okay, so this is actually a very common fault in the game we've casted so far. Uh, Pinoy Doto, yes, Pinoy Doto is very very bloodthirsty. You want those kills, especially level one. They they attempt those level one kills very very frequently. But you know, if if you're going to go for kills, blink doom. <laughs> oh no, uh, speaking of Blink Doom, uh, this Doom this actually just blinked in. Yeah, that's, that's what Close I said. The <laughs> for the support, but yeah, sorry. And well, this obviously, this uh, Blaster will survive. And while they're going to find the, the kill on Kai, Shackles coming in from reality, the armlet getting toggled there, Master Pit was getting thrown down. A perfect turnaround there in favor of the Radiant team. However, the Scream of Pain was thrown. Meepo is now low on the HP department. They are throwing the auto attacks on top of Doom. Queen of Pain, Razor finds two kills right there, and Queen of Pain returns, replies to the kill on top of the Meepo, and now it's a, almost a team wipe. Nature's Prophet, the only surviving team member of Team Radiant. That was a 3 4, three, four, four exchange. And Nature's wow. Prophet is going was, rat. He's going Yeah, rat. he's just throwing that rat dodo, but, but he doesn't have the Necronomicon book yet. It's just weird. Yeah, actually. Ag again, that was a 4 versus 5 team fight, right? The Nature's yeah. Prophet wasn't there. So. It was the wards. See, 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 see what the wards do. The wards can win you a team fight. Now imagine if those wards were up level six and everyone was uh, five levels lower. The, if if the Skywrath Mage was just level six also or level seven, and the Queen of Pain was just at level nine. Imagine the difference that that would have made. That would have that might have been a, a team wipe going in favor of Team Dive. But you know, it, it's it's late. It's too late. You could have had that 10 minutes ago. You should have had that 10 minutes ago. And that's the full power of the Shadow Shaman not being utilized. So again, let me get to the point I was making a while ago. 
you see you see just how powerful those wards are you drop them defensively you win a team fight or you ensure this engage right now oh okay the oh, okay. Nature's profit oh, could have been actually yeah just that takes away the nature's profit yeah and well you know if you're really if you're like going for that daughter might as well go for a shadow blade or a blink because that's how the pros do it like it gives you mobility and now pow pow going for a ward fight against reality Getting the stun. Oh, Earthbind coming in from the Meepo. He gets shackled. This is going to be a dead pow pow in a few seconds, and he does go down, and they will disengage. <laughs> so that you might actually pick up the Blink Dagger soon. But yeah, as Coach said, the biggest the biggest um, mistake that Dive has been making from the uh, base on the previous game as well is that the Shadow Shama is lacking on the levels. Yeah, this is just something that you do not want to happen. And it's it's not just just actually dive. We've seen this pattern before, right? It's kind of uh, it school. It's kind of a re re recurring pattern that they don't go with just letting Shadow Shaman get his level six. They they're not mm -hmm. maximizing the full potential of Shadow Shaman by getting that absolutely devastating serpent wards. You drop that defensively. You ensure a team fight victory or at least a disengage. And if you drop that offensively, that's pretty much a guaranteed tower down. Now, if it's going to take that long for you to uh, get that level 6, uh, if you see what what happened right now, they've only taken down and Lifestealer Doom. Oh, Lifestealer getting Doom right there. The blink making, just being a cost effective item right there. Oh, he goes for the blink. He can actually stun this. Fire Ignite coming in from Pow Pow. This lifesaver is good as dead. Scream of Pain. Sorry, yeah, Scream of Pain coming in from the QOP. And well, that's it. Those this pick offs are just absolutely wonderful. The Wrath Dota is not, Wrath Dota rather, is not really working that well for Divergence. And this bottom lane might get pushed. I go just on a side note regarding what you were discussing earlier about the Shadow Shaman. It is something, it is, I think, has something to do, if not the exact reason why the Shadow Shaman is kept at such a low level. I think they have this notion that it's okay to have your supports on a low level. Meanwhile, at top lane, we see Boss T engaging on top of the Shadow Shaman and this Nature's Prophet, but no, she dies as well. And now the, the Courier is in danger. The Courier will be sniped. Ah, oh, no. Yeah, he's going to escape. It's going to escape. Courier, oh, that Fudge with the wings is struggling to fight to run away. Will you be able to run away, little Fudge? Now, Plasofield, come April Razor. Everybody's just forgetting about the flying push right there. I mean, if I saw a flying push, I would actually run towards it. But anyway, this is we're going for reality here in the jungle. Once the plasma field goes down, goes on, they don't even have to look for him. TP coming from reality. Will he be able to escape? He will. That's wonderful. That wonderful, wonderful TP there from reality. Mind games. Very, Mind very games right there. well played by that Shadow Shaman. Yeah. He, he actually oh, has a, a blink. Oh, no. I think he just picked it up right now. He would have blinked if... Oh, how do you miss click? Three, four, five, eight buttons from the uh, normal control buttons. Uh, maybe he has a different key binding. Oh yeah, well, makes sense. Makes sense. Sorry about that. Anyway, oh, sorry about, about my excitement. Coach. About, this is just. Right, I don't know. I don't right know what now, to say. If we take a look at the net worth, the Mevo has come online. He's now at ten thousand gold, highest in the game. But uh, if we look at the team net worth, it's. Yeah, it's been going up. It, it used to be a 7,500 gold advantage for Deadpan Gaming. Now it's going up. It's only 6,000 now, around. So yeah, we might just see a turnaround at this point. And experience, it's only 3,000 in favor of Deadpan Gaming. From uh, 7,000 lead, it's now only 3,000. So Graph is oh, going up. Oh, the middle up. lane, we see Pao Pao actually. He actually falls down. So just a blink from the ES. I think I heard a Fisher and every, uh, a lot of things getting thrown down now. Kohaku is chasing after the King of Pain, and well, it's, that was a pick off, another pick off. Um, Deadpan Gaming slipping a little bit. I mean, they have they have the advantage, but they are slowly losing the um, losing the pick offs. I mean, sure it's eleven nineteen, but Meepo is not somebody you want to give items to. Anyway, this tower, the building might go down if they maintain the right amount of pressure at it. 
not coming from the prophet. Now, everybody is now confused of what to do. Oh, no, they just prophet not blinking away right on time, and he's getting auto attacked after that. We don't take ultimate whittles down the HP almost to zero, and that's a pick off. Everybody disengages, and the ward does not get that tower. However, the top does get denied, and that is less of a forward position for the dire team. And the middle lane is now actually, is it under the deny? Threshold, it sits at 161 HP, I guess not mm -hmm. yet. And they are now going for the smoke gang, smoke gang, sorry, smoke rush. They want a ninja this rush, I believe. Z is coming in. Yes, it is indeed a ninja rush, right? So they want to go for it. They're just waiting for everyone to come in. Oh, the first one coming in from Z. This is a confirmed rush pickup. Meepo is unaware. No wards from the region team. They have no idea of what's happening. This ward is a little bit too late. They're not going to see anyone coming in coming down that ramp anymore even though it's daytime pow pow why did you have to reveal yourself why did you have to do that or coming in getting dropped by pow pow there now they have a hunch that they might actually get him for the rush but no region team does not respond they don't give a shit they don't give two shits about what's happening at the rush pit and now this rush is going to deadpan gaming and the courier actually delivered an item to somebody i think it was doombringer or was it the rod of atos for alpha chupati anyway this is just a big, big advantage for dead band gaming. Meanwhile, at top, there's the Nature's Prophet at it again. He is very uh, persistent. He's not gonna give up. That's the kind of attitude that you want in school. Never give up. <laughs> well, that's that was so, that was one of the best PSAs I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> just keep trying. <laughs> but they pick off the Shadow Shaman, and I, I think they might want to go on the tier 3 right now. Yeah, the Razor has his Aghanims. It's a 5 versus 3 situation. Oh, the Queen of Pain teleported the top, but yeah, he just Prophet's yeah, going to escape. This is just, I think they just Prophet is keeping them busy. They don't wanna, I don't know, they don't wanna. How do they call this? They want to keep distracting Dead Band Gaming from actually pushing. And however, I don't think that's something that will be very, very fruit fruitful. I mean, right, coach? I mean, even if you keep doing the rat daughter, but no matter what you do, no matter how much you rat, it's the, the the enemy still has the map control. Anyway, the Radiant Jungle, how much you probably getting? Initiated upon Meepo with an absolutely wonderful blink, eradicating the HP of the Skyrath Mage and the Queen of Pain. Ogre Magic finds the kill on ES. Skyrath Mage finds the kill on Shadow Shaman. Actually, it's an SM taking two kills out. Doombringer throws in the Doom on top of the Life Stealer. Razor has the kill there. And Doom would actually fall down. Razor will now revive. And now Meepo is in danger of dying. Now, they just prop it actually, TV said it's alone. He is alone. They do successfully get the Aegis right there, so it's a 4 for 4 exchange. The question now is will they? Yes, they just profit, survive, you know, blinks out, he will TP out, will the Fire Blast come in? Oh no, they didn't see him right on time, so it was an equal exchange. In fact, it is a big, 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 big exchange in favor of Dive, and if you might ask why, because they took the, the Aegis away. This is going to remove the comfort, this is going to take Deadpan Gaming away from their own comfort zone. Yeah, and the Wards weren't dropped there. Uh, I wish oh, they would have... what? The Wards weren't dropped. So oh, I, 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 I wish they were able to drop those wards. They they would have turned the team fight even more. So, uh, yeah, this is what I was saying. The wards are really really powerful. They're really potent, and it's such a waste if you're not going to be able to use them too much. And here's Nature's Prophet again. He wants to push the top lane. He just wants to keep uh, whittling down at whatever towers he can take. Shadow Shaman, I think he wants to drop the wards here at the middle tier two towers since it's only 161 HP left. But right now he's not in a good position to do so. They might, yeah, they want to go on the screen of pain. I think. Mm -hmm. Pings, pings are coming uh, out. They have the silence. With part of some, the silence is in the hex coming in from that room for reality. You have to shackle him, man. Don't get him out of range and know what the hell are you doing, man? You are you just got blocked by the creeps. <laughs> now four heroes, one, two, three heroes coming in from the dire team. They are going to see the nature's prophet here. They just prophet, man. You have to blink out. Reality, come on, face reality and accept that you are out of position. You will die to the Mystic Bear, to the Arcane Seal, and to just a lot of spams from everybody. I don't know what um, Dive 
was doing, but the moment that they failed, that they failed with the gap, they should have actually disengaged there. And now Meepo is going, going for the push. Meepo, coach, by the way, has what? How many items? Oh, he has a blink dagger. He's going for the heart now. An engagement coming into the bottom lane. Lifesteader getting static. Like he has a rage up. No stun stop. No stun will be able to disable him right now. But a doom on top of the Meepo is going to kill him. This Meepo is as good as dead. Razor finds the kill on top of the Lifestealer. He comes in for the wraparound from the Reaper. Whew. And that is two for nail exchange in favor of Dead Pan Gaming. Dead Pan Gaming now sitting at 28 versus 14 of Dive, of Divergence. So that's literally double the score of the diamond. Yeah. So let's take a look at yes. the gold earned. Um, right now, it's still been pretty static. Amazing. It's only 6,000 in favor of Deadpan Gaming. But EXP, yeah, it's starting to take a dip right now, going back to 8,000 uh, EXP advantage for Deadpan. And that advantage might just grow if they take down the tier 2 tower bot. That's already the second They're tier 2 tower. They're not going to push. Yeah, this is I think this is the, yeah, after this tier tower, only one tier, tier, tier 2 tower will be left for the, um, the agent team. And now Blink coming in from reality with a Master Prince watch getting thrown down. Doom dies right there. And now Hex on top of Razor. Oh, Ogre Magi replies with a, with a multicasted Ignite. And Shackles coming in from reality. Reality, no, you're going to die, man. Try to switch over to magic. Finish the job. Meepo coming in with a blink poof. And now Oscillator oscillating with a rage and the auto attacks. Going to find a kill on that Razor. They do get the killing spree. They are not yet done. They want to kill on this Ogre Magi. Earthbind did come did come off right before the uh stun. The Fire coming in from Pow Pow. And well. There you go. It's a 2 for 3 exchange in favor of the Rage and team. Oh, Kite, what are you doing? It's a 3 for 3. The Ignite part, that's just finding the kid right there. Queen of Pain is, is will the Bosti really go for this? This Meepo is absolutely amazing on his hero, but no, decides to not do anything. Curious pickup, curious item choice. He actually went there for the staff, even though he had the advantage. Well, Agonist, oh no, Bossy is getting to them to get found right there. Earthquake coming in from Kohaku, Rap, Rangers Prophet with his ultimate right there. And the blink coming in from Bossy, they do find her there. Wonderful TP from the Nature's Prophet. Another spree from Deadpan Gaming given away to the Ragent team. This is not something you want to do. You're hoping to give the people heart. And. As they say, heart triumphs all. Oh, was it love? Actually, I'm not really good with those quotations or those references. But I hope you guys are enjoying how we are doing this stream. Now, the middle lane, we have the Shadow Shaman ready with awards in 15 seconds. You know, Very curious. You oh, know what? Yeah? Yeah? The dive actually is ahead right now in towers. They've actually taken six towers down. That's all the tier two towers, whereas... Dead Band Gaming still has the top. Something's happening on mid, I think. Nothing. Oh, yeah, I think it just no. They're just pushing the lanes. Reality blinking in right there. Blinking. Oh, he was actually saying he was just waiting for an initiate, but no teammates were there. Reality actually is curious. Oh no, he actually gets spotted because Observer Ward's still coming in from Doom right there. Doom Leader has a stun. The, the, the blink is still on cooldown. Will any supports coming for Reality? Getting the Ancient Aggro will be able to be denied. To deny yourself, no. Because you're short time from Chupapi, you gotta find someone else. This Life Stealer is out of position. Oh no, if they find the blink stun on you, you're dead. You're not going to be able to do like blink to anybody or infest to anybody rather and the rod of arrows from the skyrath mage slowing him down into the mystic threat and he will die no major prophet putting it up on the lane with me right there bossy is getting is going to engage up a wonderful tp out there from major prophet question is Kohako, will you able to serve will you be able to survive he actually left the people safely at the base and he will be able to escape at the top lane we have Earth pushing we have dead band gaming panicking all over the place they don't know what to do with themselves because it's just split pushes coming in from both sides it's wonderful play wonderful comeback coming from that dive yeah this is just rat doto if we check out the gold graph it's actually only 2500 in favor of dead band gaming it's like those 15 that 15 kill advantage doesn't really mean anything the exp difference is right now 7000 but 7000 is very negligible since Shadow Shaman has his level 11. Shadow Shaman has his level 11. Earthshaker has his level 11. This life stealer though is kind of disappointing. Only level 12. Not much of a big impact here, especially for a carry. But Shadow Shaman and Earthshaker's level 11. Oh! Hang on, Nature's Prophet getting picked up there by the Doom. 
Yeah, the Blick Doom on Doom Squared. <laughs> so, yeah, the, le the level 11 Shadow Shaman with uh, more powerful Serpent Wards and the level 11 of Earthshaker, more powerful uh, Echo Slam. Those are things that make oh. a big difference in team fights. <clears throat> so, if we take a look at the EXP graph, that, that's not going to be much of a disadvantage. The gold graph, maybe a bit around uh, right now 4,000. 4,000 gold advantage for Deadpan Gaming. But still, that's that's not insurmountable by any means. The Mevo actually has a hex right now, a uh, Scythe of Vice, and should be going for a heart. Yeah, he has a Reaver right now, should be going for a heart. Nature's Prophet, basic Nature's Prophet items, Maelstrom, Orchid, Blink. Life Stealer actually has a Basher, an Armlet, as a Plate Mail. Might be going for the AC with the Plate Mail. But most importantly, if we look at Team Dive, they have four Blink Daggers. Uh, team Deadpan has one Blink Dagger for Doom and Queen of Pain with her natural Blink. Skyrath Mage has four staff, but still, that's nothing. That's nothing compared to four blink daggers on the side of Team Dive. That's really powerful potential if they manage to get the jump on Team Deadpan Gaming. Good positioning, good initiation, good coordination. That means a lot. Uh, that can nullify any significant advantage that Deadpan Gaming might have. Mm -hmm. So yeah, at this point, I, I would gladly say that it's pretty much even. Mm -hmm. The game is up in the air yeah and now Meepo is actually he might actually get spotted here oh you have to blink out you have to what the hell are you doing you're going to get picked off and just uh, multiple disables coming in he's actually doomed he will die to this and Meepo with an unnecessary death he had the chance the, the blink was on cooldown it, it wasn't he wasn't attacked he actually had a position but he was actually carelessly right clicking I guess towards the base does he have a buyback? No, he just bought the shape stick right there, and the middle towers, the middle tower might be taken down. Shadow Shaman with the Nature's Prophet, they're going to go for an exchange right here, but you have no Necro Book, Nature's Prophet. What the hell are you doing? You're depending on your trends. The Master Pits was getting thrown down, now the tower is going down. Shadow Shaman with a TP exchange for what? Two heroes? No, just two heroes. This Queen of Pain trying to find somebody here, the Nature's Prophet leaking out, and now see the bar one barracks down for the Ragent. Skyrath Mage finds a kill on the Earthshaker, Static Lake on the Razor with a BKB, is going to find a kill on Crystal, and this is just uh, devastating, it is the biggest, biggest mistake that Team Diva did. It was losing that Meepo, if anybody had to be this, had to be blamed, it's going to be the Meepo, and now the Dark Courier was indeed sniped, but really, really Nature's Prophet, are you going to exchange your barracks for a 2-year snipe? Come on! No, they, they actually almost got the racks here on top, but mm -hmm. they were stopped by the Queen of Pain. If, if you were looking at the mid lane engagement, that was actually a million dollar Echo Slam by the Earthshaker. They were, the three of them were TPing into the top. The Earthshaker went in, Echo Slam disabled two of the TPs, and then followed up with a Fisher that disabled the Ogre Magi's TP. So it was actually three TPs cancelled by the Earthshaker. But in the end, that might have been worse for them actually because uh, they ended up destroying the towers and killing up killing Earthshaker instead. Mm -hmm. But hey, top lane Rax is exposed. You have a Nature's Prophet. Game is still up. Uh, at bot lane? Yeah, Nature's Prophet dies. Yeah, okay, so... Well, this Nature's Prophet is actually... well. Partly, I have to say, there's a there's a bit of um, absence of uh, mind, uh, or uh, lacking on the uh, presence of mind rather, when uh, he pushes the lane. It's just like he, he it should sh it should be expected that when Nature's Prophet is pushing the lane, somebody, especially someone with mobility like Queen of Pain, might actually go after him. Now Roche is up. They're going to get this one without the Nature's Prophet and with the middle barracks in danger of getting just completely pushed. Well, I don't think they might actually engage in this. They have the like, it's a nice bomb on top of the ES, going to be an echo slam to an infest, infest transition. We have the blink dagger on this Meepo. Every other Meepo is just waiting in the jungle. They're just sitting pretty right there, waiting for this splash to engage. ES throws in the blink, throws in the echo slam, infest coming in from Lysir. This is the absolute chaos. Master Pit Wars getting thrown out the Shadow Shaman. Earthshaker is dead. 
Razor actually takes the kill. Now three heroes are down. Nature's Prophet he just survives. Revives right now. He might actually keep. Meepo is still alive. Uhaku might actually win this game. Win this team fight. But he's stuck. He is stuck to the, by the Master Petwar. Nature's Prophet again. TP is at the wrong place. He gets Arcane Sealed. Buyback coming in from ES. That finally this Meepo is away is actually okay, um free from those wards is keep, keeps going and he has bossy now on the hex bossy getting turned into a sheep pipe of inside getting popped up buhaku one of the clones is dying and now he takes kind of mage actually in exchange for that this es is going to die back oh no they they the <laughs> rose actually dies down earthshake go rush for the aegis in under four stuff actually arrives he is now up and running he can throw down the fisher in a minute throw that fisher out he blinks out and he doesn't have a tp however and he's just walking he's just trying to escape from this except you know trying to find out the shadow coming in the ship stick is on cooldown why won't you use it fisher coming in from kai right here he gets keep the queen of pain locked down he blinks away the queen of pain know where he is no tips give the position queen of pain he's not there oh no you're gonna lose him ogre magic what the hell are you doing are you waiting for christmas why are you not moving come on he, he, they just completely missed the opportunity to get the kill on top of kite kite wonderful four stop to aegis to a blink to an escape and that is just one of the best team fights we've ever ever seen that was total game Bossy blink is now a cooldown. He will actually blink out right here. He actually wanted to get a kill on the Queen of Pain, but he blinked out of position because Bossy just blinked in towards a, uh, towards somewhere. I don't know where, but he did. And now these two are just waiting. Oh, the Pain has the sheep stick. Oh, he blinks in. Oh, the sheep stick. He has the Queen of Pain. He will be able to get the kill. All the attacks coming in. Oh, and the Nature's Prophet panics. He crunches. And this is why, guys, this is why you should always buy a Necro book. Yeah, especially if you're going to go full rat, you, you might as well get the Necro book. It's going to help significantly in your pushing. Yeah. And for. Okay, no, we see. Um, it seems that Shadow Shaman has the Inverun. Oh, reality, you're always. You're always in too deep, man. What the hell? Are you thinking? And uh, well, it must be the visage of Ekibuko Maskas. That's the only thing I can think of that would make him this brave. His envy is going out. Is almost, is yeah. going out. He's now walking into safety, into the jungle. Stay in the trees, man. Stay in the trees. Listen to Hi Hi. And now he is actually in position to blink and throw the words. But he knows. Skyrath Mage knows that something is up. I don't know why, but he knows that something is up. And he's looking for reality. Reality, you're gonna get spotted there. Blink to some great stake. Oh no, Deadpan Gaming gives up. Maybe they thought that uh, Shadow Shaman is going to blink out to safety or TP to safety. The top tier 2 tower is going down. This is going to be another push. Will Deadpan Gaming go for this one? They are in danger of losing a team fight. They don't have an Aegis. And then everybody's speaking at reality. Reality out of position. Scorch Earth cooling down. The Blink Tiger. You are going to die, man. Oh no, the Master of Wars actually gets used out of panic and this is such a big waste you know if he didn't throw in the wards he actually has enough buyback to buy back in for the defense we know at the bottom lane split push coming in from people blink in from ff doom go in the nature's profit nature's profit is doomed right now getting shadow strike getting attack he will die to this nature's profit. and Uhaku is blinking to the meepo right in front Stop panicking, you're going to die. The Shadow Strike, the Fire Blast, and the Ignite, and he will die right there. Now, four heroes are dead for a die, and this is Dead Band Gaming. Might actually take the win. No buyback coming in from Meepo with the fan. The Oscillator is in danger of dying. He's trying to run away. Blink coming in from Meepo. He takes the Razor, and now Skyrim Mage has no mana. He can actually TP if he wanted to, but he gets Earthbound, and now he will die to all the poops right here. And this is just a mad exchange. Now two heroes are dead for Dead Band Gaming. Bossy, what the hell are you doing? Blinking in on top of the Life Stealer. The Life Stealer has more Dijon. What the hell are you doing? On top of Bossy, he's getting poofed upon. Three heroes with a triple kill, and on top of that, he gets a mega kill of that Queen of Pain. And now, it's, I have to say, it's a fair exchange. Yeah, very well played by the Meepo, even if he had to do a buyback, he still killed three. Uh, that's very much worth it, in my opinion. So, let's take a the, look at the gold graph. It's actually gone worse for Team Dive right now, over 10,000 gold in the in advantage of deadpan and exp around oh wow this is just a big 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 dip 
right now over 30,000 EXP in favor of Deadpan Gaming. Now let's check out the levels. Yeah, the, all of the dire, all of Deadpan Gaming is actually above level eight, level 16. Their lowest is a level 18 Skyrath Mage, whereas but yeah, you know, you know, you know what? Even if there's a regular hero advantage, it's like it's it's five v nine. Yeah, the meepo it's five is five v nine, man. The meepo is just with the, with the heart of the rasp and the agonims. It's just going as five heroes unless you pick it off like what do what to do here? And Mystic Cure coming into Sky of Edge, Kuhaku will die. This is definitely a big loss right there for for Team Dive. And now ES is going next. Two heroes down for the Ragion team. They're now blinking in on top of this. Shadow Shaman, Shadow Shaman is gonna die. Wonderful chains. Wonderful chaining of skills right there from Zumi. Throws his team on top of the Nature's Prophet because he might escape. And they are now just gonna walk over to Shadow Shaman and kill him. Oscillator, where the hell are you? Are you pushing somewhere? Shadow Shaman actually throws in the wars. Why are you hitting the creeps, man? You are hitting the creeps. Last one attack. Another attack, please. Throw it down and now so that's it. The tower gets destroyed. Was that on the mid lane? Yeah, I, I, I missed that. Yeah, sorry, on the sorry. Mid lane. But uh, a bit of an exchange going the way of dive. But let's see if the cooldown. No, they'll be able to respawn in time to defend against this. Mm -hmm. So let's see what happens. No worries, Rick. No worries there. Um, you know what? What I think I don't. I don't. I don't know if this is if I'm wrong with what I'm thinking. But if you know this, Nico didn't actually go for the heart. He he went for the Ginsu first. And yeah, yeah. It's yeah. a wise decision. But yeah, we will know. It I mean, if you had the heart, I, I, I don't know. I, I'm starting to be. Um, I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm actually um, really serious. So I'm curious. I'm wondering what, the what the consequence might have been. It, it was what a the advantages might have been. Yeah. Very aggressive pick from the Meepo. Yeah, yeah. And now, oh, with a life stealer bomb coming in from ES, a Mystic there going to find the Shadow Shaman with the Arcane Bolt, and now two heroes are dead for the Radiant team. Dire team, two heroes are dead, three now for Radiant. But however, the Meepo is still alive, and if you don't kill the Meepo, you might you might as well just run away because he will just continue spamming those pools right there. And the Earth Bite, and here actually somebody gets bashed, the Queen of Pain gets bashed, not being not able to blink out right there. Earthbind coming in from Kohaku, who is trying to tr find somebody. They, Pao Pao gets blinked in. Pao Pao, don't reveal yourself. Don't go for an auto attack. And now Skyrath Mage is going to be, it's going to be stunned. And Poof coming in from the from the Meepo, just turning his HP down. Blink, Earthbind coming in from Kohaku. Wonderful. Er, blink, Earthbind right there. And Bosti goes, for, he die backs. And four heroes are dead. Four heroes are dead. Four dead Pan Gaming. Yeah, that, that's good for team dive. Very, very well played, especially from uh, Kohaku and the Meepo. But still, they need to push. They have two tier threes down, the mid and the top. So that's a bit of an advantage for them since they still have one tier two up on their bottom lane. But they still need to get there and they still need to take down those barracks. So uh, winning a team fight in your base is one thing, but uh, bringing it to the other side and making an advantage out of that is another but right now they're pushing the queen of pain is out for 80 seconds 80 more seconds oh shit that's a long 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 time to ha not have a queen of pain yeah so that might I mean the screen of pain the screen of pain right coach it's going to help with the put for to the with the defense but yeah yeah that, that might just be enough to turn the tides in favor of team dive right now mm-hmm and three lanes are being pushed by the way, coach. We see life still at the top, they just pop at the bottom, we put the middle lane with the ES. The Shadow Shaman throws in the wards, multi cast from the Ogre Mad right on top of reality right there. Meepo blinks out to just clear the creep wave right here. And Doom actually throws the Doom. Is it the real one? No, it's one of the clones. BKB up on Razor Eye of the Storm. Everybody just it's just total anarchy right here. Chaos Knight. Sorry, Chaos Knight, sorry. Mystic Flare coming in from the Skyrath page, not going to find anybody, but however, two heroes are now down, taken away by the Razor. Meepo is now dying right there. Without the Queen of Pain, they were able to wipe out four heroes. So Light Seeder is the only hero alive. Is, go is he going to be able to take Chupapi out? No, the four staff actually saves him. The four staff from himself, I believe. Yes, and now Light Seeder takes away the Doom, but our Doom bites back into the game. The middle range barrack is destroyed. The barracks was destroyed, Kosha. The barrack is taken down. And it's now fair. They are, it's now a fair exchange. Like yeah, the middle, the middle racks is down for both teams. Yeah, that's well played. And Doom bought back for 
practically no reason. So that, that's also a bit of an advantage right there, but uh, right now we'll see if the Mevo and the Nature's Prophet can respond in time. Yeah, they should be able to. Serpent Wards are up in 35 minutes and they're pushing down the middle lane. I, I'm not sure if they're going to plan on transitioning to the top lane. Yes, they are. Yeah, they will be able to push the tier 4s right now and just throw in it. So they, they'd want to take the tier 3 top first, but that will allow... Oh, mostly with a big AD. Yeah, you know, I think the team fight, the team fight is imminent, and well, but not before the racks will go down. So, oh, the reality goes in with the blink, is endangering himself, throws the mechanics to survive. With the enchant totem from Kite Rider stunning the Doom, but not gonna be enough to have to blink in. He, was, he will definitely go for the pull, but Doom from Doombringer just shutting one of the front of Kuhaku's clones down. He's panicking right there. Shadow Shaman throws in the ward for the auto attacks. People buys in into the game. Lifestealer going for the sky that once again. Kuhaku blinks in on top of Chupapi, but not, that's not the hero they want to go for. You have this, you have the Ogre Magic, you have the Doom, and you have the Queen of Pain. You want to take them down because if you take them down, you're buying your, your team time to push. But wow, in the middle of everything. This Nature's Prophet who still doesn't have an Economicon is pushing the bottom lane. Nature's Prophet, oh, the second start to the right is still closer to the bottom than it is to the top. <laughs> oh, now multi cats coming in from Meepo. I'm uh, sorry, multi cats coming in on top of Meepo, on top of Street giving this Meepo like more gold than he should have. And well, if you notice, Coach is still forgoing the heart. And I think it's going for Skadi. Scaddy right now, yeah, he has an ultimate orb. I don't think he needs a Scaddy in particular because uh, while the Scaddy gives good stats, he, he doesn't need the slow, he has the Geo Strike. Geo Strike is a good enough slow, so uh, I'm not sure. I, I think survivability is the best option right now for Mevo, but maybe he wants a solo rush at them? Yeah, well, no wards are up on both teams, so no wards. Even though the wards are on cooldown at the shops for both teams, nobody's buying them. And now it seems that the Jire team knows, feels that something is up. Plasma field coming from Razor. Does a plasma field give vision, coach? Yeah, yeah, it does. Oh, well, then now they know. Nature's Prophet being at the top lane. Nature's Prophet, you still don't have that Necronomicon, you silly, silly Nature's Prophet. You really need that to help you with a push, man. And he has the ultimate part, he's going for the ship stick, but it's not something that you want right now. That's the last thing you would want. Jump through side. For the over magi, um, I don't know who this is for. Does anybody have like a shadow blade or the gem of true sight was picked up by the over magi, magi coach? I don't know what it is for. Maybe they want to see if what they can ward. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that's gonna be a very costly because now nature's prophet blinking here is out of position. Everybody is going to gang up on him and he's dead while giving fifty six damage for this razor for the next what. 30 seconds or so and now well this um oh wait i hear somebody getting getting hex right there fast fast reflexes coming in for the shadow shaman he gets blinked upon throws in the hex tps out to safety and now boss t has a scaddy and they will probably be taking this rush up oh rush he can't even attack more than more than once a second well this is just this is close for team deadpan gaming and this is the last thing that radiant eats it's somebody on deadpan gaming who has spawning twice especially if it's razor and the cheese the cheese is already up and it's going to be retrieved by the queen of pain ah uh, this is just too painful to watch at one point i thought the dive actually had a chance to win but now it's too it's so hard to tell yeah, they still have a chance. They still have Nature's Prophet. They still have a Meepo. Tier yeah, 3 is just... still exposed on mm -hmm. uh, top. Top racks are still exposed. So, uh, yeah, they still have a chance there. And actually, the range barracks on the top lane for Radiant is still alive. So Yeah, well, it's, it's just that, you know, I don't know how fast they would be able to counter push because Nature's Prophet has, didn't, never bought that Necronomicon. It's just so crucial, like you have two warriors and one of them even has a mana burn. Refresher Orb get up on this Razor, now it's Agonist Refresher Orb, this is just gonna just gonna melt this tower AP right there. Doom just pushing everybody away, the racks are going down at it. Oh, ES blinking at the wrong position, throws in the Fisher, the Invest, Invest Bomb coming in from the night. And now Earth Shaker is dead, Miko do find, does find the kill on top of Skyrim Mage. And Bosti is getting hexed. He is getting picked, ganged up on by ganged up upon by three heroes. And now the barracks, however, will still go down. 
Z is in danger. Oh, Life Stealer open wounds the wrong hero. Opens wounds the wrong hero. That DG.Z is running away. But mission accomplished, man. He can actually just die. And he has enough gold for buyback. He has the Aegis, by the way. So it's not really going to be devastating. Doom now trying to help with a push at the top lane. Razor is now running away, getting Shackle, getting Hex, getting locked down by everybody, getting auto attack. The Sprout is on cooldown just in case. And yes, it gets thrown down for safe measure and well it's an almost team wipe for dg but it's an almost barracks it's yeah. almost mega creeps but the razor is down for 80 seconds maybe they can make some something out of this nature's profit teleports up on top and there's still oh, no, no, kill on this doom they, oh yeah this going for they're going for the doom doom throws in the big kb is just going to scorch her away she must start getting thrown down this is going to slow the nature's profit this life stealer is trying to get the kill but no doom has the blink and now shadow shaman reality do not go there man you know what happens when you go alone and just in case you don't know it he will die but yeah now this shadow shaman is way under level the the, the doesn't have the agonist mass serpent ward still just on level two he needs a level 16 to be able to be you know just do a quick and easy push right there earth shaker merging with them joining them to the top lane life stealer moving to the middle lane they want to kill the skyrath mage should they so however should they do so rage up on oscillator is going to go for the open was going to throw the auto attacks and four staff coming in from alpha shababi blink coming from the meepo oh the boots of travel don't throw for mystic there coming in the doom was not thrown on the meepo it's going to be thrown on the life stealer and this is just absolutely amazing this is this might actually be the win now doom is actually able, will actually be able to Walk away, Echo Slam coming in from the uh, Earth Shaker, Oscillator falls down with his feet, and now the Shadow Shaman ninjas the barracks, Bossy blinks and kills the ES. Shadow Shaman is dead away, dead as well. Nakus Prophet will follow suit, and the Nate and the Warriors are actually willing down the HP at the barracks. Coach, this is such a tight game. The barracks is still alive. Yeah, 74 HP. Will will the fortification go away before the Wards die? No, there's still for there's still a, a little bit of HP up there, and well, the barracks will survive. I think Meepo is planning to uh, go for the barracks and go for the back door. I'm not really sure. No, he has to defend. <laughs> but that was so close. And that could have been so much better for dive. Yeah. Now everybody's TPing at the bottom lane. They want to finish it. Team DG wants to finish this. They're going for the push. We have the Razor, we have the Queen of Pain, the Doom, and the Skyrath, and the Ogre Manager is away. No, Kohaku is just pu putting somebody in position for the back door will he be able to pull it off oh they did swap out Razor's courier was picked off by the razor razor go away for the top racks this is mega creeps for team dive team dive put up a good fight but if they won't be able to defend this soon enough this is going to be a gg one is planning for the blink poof in we have we saw we see es actually throwing down blinking into the fisher and the enchant him but the eye of a storm is just melting everybody down queen of pain throwing in the ultimate and now latest profit falls down Ogre Magi to support this Meepo is dead. Triple kill for Bossy that there in the DG call from Team Dive. It's out 2 0 in favor of Team DG. It was a 37 to 75 score on advantage for Team DG. Uh, sorry, in favor of Team DG. And wow, it's a wonderful game. 37 76 now and just wonderful game, coach. Yeah, well, well played. Well played for well played. both teams. It was one of the best games I've ever seen in this stream, Coach. I have to say that. Yeah, very exciting. You know, um, everyone wins when Amiibo plays. The audience, we win because it's very exciting to comment on Amiibo. So, yeah, a very, very thrilling game. You know, uh, even up until the end, uh, just until right before the end, the game was up in the air. You couldn't really say that. Uh, yeah, dive yeah. We're at uh, no win situation, but yeah, um, Deadpan Gaming prevailed in the end. So congratulations, Deadpan Gaming. Um, yeah, you'll be getting your prizes soon. And for now, I'm going to do my raffle thingy for the stream. Okay, so stay mm -hmm. tuned, viewers.